Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. This is the card you're making today. It's this lovely little candy cane card. So let me show you what I did. I'm going to start off with the stamping. Um, the stamping is this one, Sweetest Time, and we're going to use the stamp set that says Wishing You the Sweetest Season. And I'm going to be stamping actually in Shaded Spruce. Now this project is one of the projects we did in my online card club that I host every month in my Facebook group and we made four to five little projects and this is one of them and I thought I'd share it with you on my face on my YouTube channel but do check out my online card club all the details are on my website and as I said it happens in my Facebook group and the link to that is all below so there's our stamping so now I'm just going to clean up my stamp a bit so we don't make too much of a mess okay there we go and we're going to put this away try not to make too much noise and I've got a piece here of garden of um, shaded spruce and the whisper white piece here measured 10 by 4 and I mean this measures 10 by this measures 10 by 4 this measures 9.5 by 3.5 I'll get there in the end okay so Mount that up and then put that aside so we don't lose it. Next thing we need is a piece of real red, and this is a piece that measures 10 centimeters by 14.35 um, centimeters. Okay, and we're going to use this to cut out our die cut. I'm using these ones called the Sweetest Borders dies, and it's this die we're going to be using here, and this little one here. As you can see there's quite a few different dies here to use. I've used them a lot. So we're going to cut this out and then we're going to cut this out as well. I'm going to cut this little one out um, five times. So I'm going to put that all through the die cutting machine and I'll be back. Okay so I've cut everything out so you can see there. So now I'm going to bring back the rest of my stuff. I've got a piece here of Whisper White and this measures 14.35 centimeters by 10 centimeters. I'm just going to stick down my die cut to that. And I'm going to use my um, silicon mat to do it so I don't get Tombow all over the place because you need a, a, a glue that can get into all these nooks and crannies. So I'm just using, being quite delicate, quite light with the Tombow, especially where it's, you know, um, all these small bits. Okay, that be more than enough. Um, bring back my piece of whisper white, and then we're just going to place this down on top. Line the two up together. a bit of glue there and then I'm just going to press from the other side and you'll notice there's a little overhang here on the edge and I'm just going to cut that off with my scissors okay get rid of those bits and now we can stick everything down to our card base, which is shaded spruce. Okay, so as I said, this is a shaded spruce A6 card base. So that's an A4 sheet cut in half and then folded in half. And I'm just going to stick down our piece to that with some Tombow because that's what I've got handy. Okay, and then just stick it down like that. I'm going to bring back our sentiment, which is going to pop up on some dimensionals. And I just can't bear taking off dimensional backings too much now. This is the ninth video I filmed today, and <laughs> it's a lot for me in one day. Let's put it that like that. So I just had to stop the video as my mother managed to call me on my. I mean, I'm at home, my mother's at home, but she still called me on the mobile because she called the wrong number. So I had to stop the video to see. But I just got scared. Why is she calling me on my mobile when I'm here? Is she fallen or something? But no. 
um, she just called the wrong number so crisis averted take the backings off these dimensionals okay last one is putting up a bit of a fight but we've got it put these in the bin my bin is overflowing I have to go and tip it out after we've finished put this down wherever you want it there looks about right to me okay and then we've got all these little candy cane swirls or whatever you want to call them and we're just going to stick these down with a little bit of tomba if the tomba wants to play ball just putting little dots and then getting more on the craft sheet than I am on the on the actual thingamajigs thingamajigs a technical term look at all the messiness I've been up to have to go and scrub my hands as well so I can't stand stained hands for the rest of the day it'll drive me mad okay and one last one I'm going to tuck here as if it's coming out okay so put that away and then finishing touches we're going to use some rhinestones let me see what size I used before um, I used the medium size so let me see let's um, use these ones and I just put one in every center of these swirly things mm. and I've got Tombo stuck to me so it doesn't always make it the easiest as you can see and I'm shaking as well which doesn't help there we go one more just there and we're finished so i hope you liked the video if you did i'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so youtube know and don't forget to subscribe to future videos all the information you need about making this card supply list um, links to my online shop and everything on the blog post on my website and the links to that and all my social media links are in the description box below including the links to the car club where we made this card originally so thank you again and i hope you enjoyed the video and until next time enjoy being creative bye